Welcome to the Land House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. In this video, I have the POW MR 12 to 48 volt MPPT solar charge controller. Let's do an unboxing, take a look at its features, and then set it up to see how well it operates. Let's quickly take a look at the contents of the package. So you can see it is protected with this foam. Go ahead and pull those off of there. It also has this little uh, protective bag over it. And then if I put that aside, here are some pieces of documentation. It's also got some mounting screws and you've got your user manual here. So, all right, very basic packaging. Let's go ahead and dive into the features of this product. Well, let's take a close up look at this solar charge controller. So right here on the front, you can see it has the POW MR logo. It has an LCD screen, has four different buttons. And down here on the bottom, it says MPPT solar charge controller. And this will actually pop off and allow you to access the solar input, the battery, and then a load over here. Let's go ahead and put that back on for now. Down here is where you're actually going to be able to access for those wires. And then if I turn down here, you can see it's got a heat sink to dissipate the heat that this thing will generate. Over here on the side, it's got some mounting holes you can see right there. And up top, it's just got uh, model information and some other data. So the model number is the POW M60 Pro. Current 60 amps, voltage 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts. Max PV voltage, 160 volts. Max PV input power at uh, 720 watts, 12 volt. 1,440 watts, 24 volts, 2,100 watts, 36 volts, and 2,800 watts, 48 volts. So along with the charge controller, there is a template and some screws to allow you to install this. So you just pop out these little pieces here and it'll show you where to install those screws. And it does say you need to have enough airflow space on the top and bottom to allow the uh, airflow to vent. It also comes with a user manual, which is uh, pretty handy. It's got some nice info in here. Uh, shows you the charging curves. It also will tell you a little bit more about the airflow and the uh, different inputs and parameters there. So uh, definitely important to have this. Also has a breakdown of the display, which we'll go over in just a moment. Let's go ahead and connect the MPPT solar charge controller to a battery. I've got a 12 volt, 160 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. And I've also got a 100 watt solar panel that we'll use to charge this battery with. So to go ahead and get this connected, I'm gonna remove this panel just by sliding it this way. And uh, to connect the battery first, I have simply got some 10 gauge wire here. And uh, what I wanna do, is just use the black for the positive and the white for the negative here, just for this simple test. Of course, you would use proper colors whenever you do a full install of your own. Using a basic Phillips head, I'm gonna reach down in here to the battery and unscrew this. Now, whenever it's unscrewed, there's actually these little saddles in here that will uh, go downward. I don't know how well it's gonna show on the camera there, but anyway, you just turn those and it's gonna let those uh, down there and once that's down you can stick your wire in here so I'm gonna use the black as the positive stick that right in there go ahead and tighten that down put the negative over here on this side okay and the way that my battery is turned here, I'm gonna to have to uh, kind of angle these over to get them to connect to my battery a little bit here. I think we're gonna manage. Now that I have the charge controller connected to the battery, let's take a look at the display. So it's got four buttons down here. I'm just gonna to touch one to bring up the display. So you can see that it has uh, zero volts coming in on the solar. It's got 12.7 volts on the battery. It'll run for 24 hours because there's no load. And it's got the MPPT and it has the battery connected there in the middle. And there's also a little light over here for 
uh, the load is turned on. So, all right, that's the basics there of the display. Let's go ahead and hook up a solar panel. I'm going to be using this 100 watt solar panel. So I've got the positive MC4 connector here. I'm just going to clip that together. And now I can step over to the charge controller and get this wire hooked up. Just like with the battery, I can just unscrew this till that little saddle falls down. And then I'm gonna stick this into here. I'm gonna find the negative here. And uh, I may not plug that up yet. Let's go ahead and hook this wire into the charge controller. And then we will connect that MC4 to finish the connection. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the MC4 connector on the solar panel negative. And then I can turn this panel into the sun. Let's see how we're doing here. So we've got 95 watts coming in currently, which is pretty impressive for this 100 watt solar panel. Very nice. So also right here, you can see that the uh, little uh, indicator is showing that it is charging. 12.9 volts right there, 13. So it is moving along. Now we're gonna go through some of the settings here to make sure that we have everything correct. Let's take a look at the display here and go through some of the settings. So if I click the PV button, I can see over here, it's got 91 watts coming in. Click that again, it'll show the incoming voltage at 17 volts. Now moving over here to the battery button, I can first see that it's uh, 6.9 or seven amps. Click here, we've got 15.6 degrees Celsius. We've got the C13.0 volt. It's a sealed battery and 14.4 volts is what it's gonna charge up to. 13.8 is where it is currently. Uh, so we don't want it, oh, and 10 volt is the, the low. So we don't want that to be on sealed. We want it to be on the uh, lithium. So I'm gonna hold this down here where it says sealed and then I can move that arrow up. So gel got uh, lithium right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the set button. And now we are on a lithium battery. So 14.4 is the charging voltage. It's got 11 volts right there. 13, all right, and seven amps. Okay, I brought the unit inside my studio so we can better see the display. So first of all, if you push the PV button, then it's going to show up here. So you can see the screen is now working. And it's got right here, there's no um, watts coming in. I can press that again, and there's no amps on that thing. So that's how you go back and forth there. And there's a little tiny display up here in the top that means that it's uh, nighttime mode because there is no solar panel hooked up. Now right here is the battery button. If I press that, I can go over to where it says uh, the battery type. And so you see right here, there we go, sealed. So if I hold this down when it says sealed, I can then scroll through and uh, find lithium, which is what we have here. And then I can just push the set button and it is now currently set to uh, the lithium iron phosphate. And then now over here on the DC button, I can do a couple different things with this. I can change the mode so that the, um, the load is always off always on or has a timer. So let me first just hold this down and you'll see the timer start to blink there. If I move this, that means that the, um, push the set real quick. So I've got uh, 20 hours on the timer. I can hold this again and then hold here and you can see that it's gonna be always on. And so that's uh, just turning on or off the load. And the last feature I wanna show you on the PAL M60 Pro is how it will automatically detect the battery voltage. So I'll show you between a 12 volt and a 24 volt, how it picks up here on the display. I'm gonna connect my wire to the batteries and show you that there's either a 12 or a 24 that shows up in this corner over here. All right, keep your eye on this corner over here. It's gonna be 12 for just a moment and then it will go away. There's the 12. 
And then let me go ahead and swap over to the 24 and you'll be able to see the uh, 24 as it goes into both batteries. Here we go. Now you can see the 24 right there. And that's my first look at the PAL MR, PAL M60 Pro charge controller. This thing does 60 amps, 160 volts input, has the option to go between 12, 24, 36, and 48 volts. So if you wanna learn more about this little charge controller, I'll have a link in the description down below. Now stay tuned to the Landa House channel because I'm going to be doing a full install here pretty soon. I'm Seth with the Landa House YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.